you know, Carly and Aaron are a real one because that's how we, you know, they're going to get some. Oh, yeah. Aaron's getting married and it's going to be real fun. Yeah. Yep. My name is Drake and I'm going to be there. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome back, back to our, our Sunday, Sunday video. video. Today we are back yet again with another vlog squad gossip. We haven't done it in a while. So. Yeah, I genuinely don't know the last time we did one. I, I think I, it was with Jason. But I've been asking. I ask every week. I go, "Where's the Where's the Sunday vlog?" Well, because he thinks we upload one every Sunday, <laughs> which is like my dream. But <laughs> you don't upload every Sunday. We upload every Sunday, but we don't upload vlogs when gossip videos. Oh, right, 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 right. But that's okay. Gotcha. We also, we've also got Joe in the background. Hey, Say Joe. Hi, Joe. Joe's my writer. So if, if I'm not funny today, it's Joe's it's his fault. fault. Oh, Joe! Okay. Oh wow, the first one's already very juicy. So the Todd and Natalie thing, is it real? Genuinely curious. How do you no, think the, this will the, end? It, it says is real. Oh, is real? Genuinely curious. How do they think this will end? Like, will it end well? Um, well, I know Zayden, he talked about this on their podcast. Oh, did they? And I feel what like... What did they say? They said exactly how I feel. I don't really know how real it is because every day seems different. So, true. <laughs> exactly what it is. So I, I, I think, I think, I think they, they really like each other. Yeah, I think it's because of you know there's work involved. Yeah, so it's and like I think a little... they it's just a little dicey. But, and I would also just say you know, no relationships are last forever. Some do. No, I hope people they die. do because I'm oh, right. literally oh, <laughs> it's like I'm getting married. What are you saying? Yeah, but the afterlife. <laughs> yeah, but I consider Maybe. that lasting forever. Yeah. you're not like going through a breakup. Ugh. Yeah. Well, I guess when your other person dies, then you go. Don't be so <laughs> cynical, oh Jason. But I'm just saying, like, if there if someone's out there going like, well, this isn't going to end well, it's like, well, yeah. I think Nothing, no most relationships don't end well, but I but think it's like a even... track record of like, another girl in our friend group. You know what I mean? Because like when well, Todd and Corinna broke up, it wasn't like easy peasy, beautiful cover girl, right? So I think a lot of people probably like that stands out to them. Or like, oh no, this isn't gonna end well. I, I, I didn't know Todd was with Corinna. I don't know anything. About that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that's like new the... information for me. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know about Todd's dating issue. I just know he's a great guy. He lived with Todd when they were dating. Yeah. And he yeah. caught them in the shower a couple times. I also feel like we're on The View right now, like, talking about Todd. I wish we were on The I, I also feel like the there's no way it'll end well is like different than like a normal this won't end well. Because like dating within a friend group is so complicated. Because right. if you break up, then it's like... A yeah. lot more involved than just well, breaking Todd, up in heart. Todd and Kern are good friends now, so I think it'll be fine. Yeah. There, there, there was a point in time. Where they weren't. So, you know. I don't remember. <laughs> I just I know Todd remember. makes great eggs, man. <laughs> <laughs> David covered the design in his new merch as if he didn't wear it in a vlog recently. <laughs> oh my god, that's so uh, funny. I don't get it. Um, did, did they just release like... <laughs> <laughs> they just released like these cl new clickbait hoodies, I guess. Yeah, and and he showed them in a vlog already, but fan or I don't know who posted a sneak peek of it, but they covered the logo as if no uh, one knew. What oh, it was. oh, 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 well, yeah. We've been new. That's tough for them because the 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 merch comes and then they're like, oh, don't show it. Yeah, and, and they also I'll... give it to like all of us, and I never yeah. know if it's released yeah. or not. I know, I know. For me though, it's like a good way to build the hype. I think so too. Like I think so too. Like. Yeah. Save yeah. your money's up. This is what it looks like. If yeah. you like it, you'll be able. What do you think, Joe? I agree. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Joe, Joe, you haven't written me one joke. What? You haven't written me oh, one joke. I think he's writing one? them on his phone right Read now. Read this one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Joke time. This is a tweet that Joe wrote. As an effort to prevent germ transfer, my girlfriend thought it'd be best if we stopped kissing three years ago and just stay friends. <laughs> That's really funny, That's so Joe. Funny. Very good tweet, Joe. Wow. Joe, you're, you're very, a new writer. You are very underrated. Thank and you. I mean that with, like, 100% certainty. We stand Joe. Joe's People hilarious. say that about me, too, Joe. It's awful. <laughs> The other day, we oh, David was out of town, so we were like just having nice fun days, and we were like uh -huh. begging Joe to come and hang out with us. He could finally leave the cage yeah. and like hang out with us. Oh yeah, Joe was at Earth Cafe. But you, yeah. you don't go out with us. But that's like your choice, right? Yeah, because I hang out during the day, and then I have to edit, so I can't hang out during the day and hang out at night. Yeah, because then I never get to edit. Yeah. It's also like I feel like we're on the same wavelength there. It's like too many people. Yeah, I was, like it's just like a lot. I like I'm very introverted. I like yeah, yeah. introverted. I like yeah, at least. Yeah. Introverted person like that my guys. <laughs> Scott posted on his story last night David clipping his nails with scissors and it was truly the most horrifying thing I've ever seen in my whole entire yeah, life. I could like it's hear disgusting. I could Ugh. like literally I can hear people being like, What the f is wrong with you, David? You know what I mean? Like no one actually said that, but he's probably like, You guys don't understand. This is the most efficient way no, yeah, to cut like, That's what he says. He, he's like, It doesn't matter, it's still something cut. Oh. Fingernails or toenails? Fingers. Fingers. Did Scott have long fingernails? No, no. Dave was cutting David, his own. Like, oh, cutting his own. Regular scissors. Doing, like, scissors. Oh, with regular scissors. Oh boy. That's such like <laughs> a, a seven-year-old thing to do. Yeah. Like, I think this is how you do it. <laughs> the Prada bag breaking within 24 hours proves exactly why it wasn't worth the money. Pay for quality, <laughs> not designer names. Oh my God! Who cares? Let me get a designer bag. <laughs> 
But I also, don't care. When you were on the phone with her, she was like, they are all handmade, so like we will have a couple here and there that yeah. break. But they literally gave her a new strap. And yeah, it's probably and I went in and the lady was like, I've never seen this happen before. Like, what happened? And I was yeah, like, I, I have no idea. Like, it literally, I was just walking and it fell off. But like, just... Stop being so negative. Let me get a designer <laughs> yeah, I know, bag. I, I don't know. have one. It's so crazy. We just treat ourselves. Let me just spend my money <laughs> how I want. I'd rather invest money in nice quality things from an up and coming company or a local business instead of the name brand stuff. Hey, I literally do that all the time. Erin is like the biggest person to do that. Yeah. I go to farmers markets. I go to Joshua Tree. I buy local. I support small businesses. But you don't. I am not like. Oh, look at this candle I got. Like, look yeah, at all these yeah. things. It's like, but like I do all of those things too. Too. Getting some heat it's on the fine. Prada bag. <laughs> it's so crazy too because it's like we were very clear in the video. We're like we've never bought a designer bag like this would be really exciting. Sure, and it was just like a one-time thing, and people are yeah. like. It's so crazy oh, how ballet so you are. Funny. It's just like, okay, yeah, we're just but it's fun. like people, like 16 year olds are like, mom, I want a lily bag for my birthday. And like, they get it. But it's like, I was never like that. Yeah. And like, yeah. I still am not. I'm not like, yeah. I want designer this, I want designer that. It's just like, I saw a bag that I liked and I'm going to get it. Yeah. yeah. And Good then I went with her and I saw a bag and I got one yeah. too. Erin <laughs> drops expensive stuff in her outfit of the days all the time. I.e., This is a bag from Shrimps. <laughs> oh my God. This bag from Shrimps, we did it on the Real Real brand deal. I got it for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same with mine. I have an off white bag that I wear a lot but it was also free because we got credit. We don't care that they're buying expensive things. Most people in their position would be doing the same thing. It's the way they go about it that bothers us. Mm -hmm. What? Uh-huh. Well, you guys really go for the drama it's on this. All they have to do is be honest. How are we being honest? When Matt meets new people, he definitely tells them he works in advertising. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever have, like, when you're in an Uber or something, when they ask what you do, what do you oh say? Oh, my God. They usually go, they see the camera and they go, you a photographer? Oh, yeah. And I go, yep. Oh, yeah. Are people mad about Candy getting those bags? They said they are smart with their money and their splurging is not like they were being obnoxious and always buying shit. Oh, my God. I buy so much crazy shit for my videos. <laughs> I know. The craziest <laughs> shit. Joe, Joe buys the most useless <laughs> stuff for his Amazon videos. Yeah. He bought a cotton candy maker. Oh, Matt, he just used it today. He oh, did? he did? Yeah. Oh, my God, I love For that. what? For he, te he texts me. He's like, hey, can I borrow that cotton candy machine? I'm like, yes. <laughs> well, okay, I love got that. some use out of it. I would just like to say, like, I, I get why you'd be upset. But oh, I, it wasn't about them getting the bags. It was them um, saying, oh, my God, we're so poor I don't now. think I, I ever said I was poor now. Oh, I mean, I, we were just like joking that we're going to have to sell everything just because it was like an expensive item. So we're like, we're going to have to sell yeah. everything we own. I feel it's like not it about just... being relatable. It's about being like, oh my God, like the guilt. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly. like, oh, I'm guilty that I, not like guilty that I bought the bag because like I'm happy that I did, but it's like, oh my God, I just spent so much money. Like I need to make it back. Yeah. Type right. of thing. Less of like, I'm poor. Like, but buy my guys, clothes. These guys should understand too that like, by you buying the bag, that makes the video interesting. So it's yeah. like, you're, wa you're watching... That's why I watch YouTubers because they go do weird stuff. Weird like stuff. Mr. Beast, he went and bought a seventy thousand dollar pizza. Okay, <gasps> that's and crazy. My son, but my ass just fell out. Well, <laughs> Wyatt and I watched the entire video. He went all over New York. He did all these cool things, and it was like it was a great video. And it was like, well, that, wow. that's that's what that's what being a YouTuber is. Yeah, like, that's what yeah. people want to see. So like, I don't know why people would give you crap for getting a bag. Like, it's <sighs> production budget. Production, it is, exactly. Yeah. Literally, mm -hmm. you need money to make a show. You guys are a show, and yeah. we also can wear them every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Next time you have something good to say, write it down. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, Joe, shut up. <laughs> shut up back there, Joe. Guys, so go on the gossip sites and write something about how Jason has to fly at bad times and you don't like it. <laughs> They're making him fly at 1 a.m. tonight. And you Chicago. wish that David and Natalie would be more considerate with their flight time. Guys, oh. you got another Joe tweet here. No, this is for you. Oh, sorry. Oh, never this mind. Is, Jason thought of this on his own. Guys, follow me on Twitch. I'm gaming carpool dad for the next 24 hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whatever happened to carpool dad? Still out there, baby. You haven't pulled it up in a while during our video. Oh, yeah. I don't have it on my phone anymore because I got a new phone. Oh, you got God. rid of your game? No, no, I, 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 I just got a new phone yesterday. So it's I, uh, like I deleted its safe room on my phone. <laughs> really? <laughs> that was so funny when you used to do that in our video. I'm not really a fan of Carmelita, but Jason doing it, doing a bit as her with fake tits was really a missed opportunity. Carmelita gets a boob job. Oh, yeah. I we thought about it. do that. Yeah, we thought about that. We just didn't, uh, we, were, we were worried. We just didn't want to be offensive with it. Oh, that's very nice uh, of you. So that yeah, we were trying to we were like we were really tiptoeing around that mm -hmm. whole thing. We were like so we like the idea, we think it's funny and then then once they were on they were like, Wow, these look really real <laughs> So let's not like And then Megan was like, Don't you fing dare <laughs> <laughs> No, I didn't hear from Megan on this one, but so that's probably why. Hello? 
Come on in. Carly's really bad at navigating Twitch and just video games in general. I don't really think it's her thing, but at least she's trying something new. Um, for me, Twitch is really confusing to figure out because it's like even Joe. Joe said it was confusing when he first started too. Incredibly. It's just like. What's confusing about it? It's just like not a platform that's easy to understand, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And people are like, change your bit rate, make it your upload speed different. And they're like, I don't know what these things mean a yet. A lot so of just technical like, stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of technical things. And you have to basically like format your live stream. So like, where you put your webcam somewhere, you need game capture behind you. You need, and you kind of do that yourself. Yeah. So it's very confusing. But if you don't have I'm trying. It's you, fun for me. So whatever. What? If you don't have someone helping you. Yeah. I will stay far away from Twitch. Twitchy. Yeah. It doesn't sound like. It's fun though. Me. I really like doing it. Curly and Aaron pull off Doc Martens so good, but when I wear them, they look like clown <laughs> shoes on me. I bet that's not true. I feel like they always feel like they look yeah. way bigger. Because I thought the same thing. They probably look incredible on you. You got it, girl. I 100% ship Jason and Carly, which is. <laughs> Dr. Jason. It was so just not you. <laughs> so Alright, I'm out of here. Jason was so happy. He's like, so really? excited. Like, it's honestly creepy to me. Like, I don't like it because yeah. he's a married man. Like, it's just like whenever it's we're close with a guy in a video, it's yeah. always like, oh my god, you can tell they want each other. It's just like weird. Yeah. Um, Especially after, a after we were like, he's married, everyone, like, don't say it. And then the next video we posted with him, everyone was like, oh my god, like, there's clear chemistry between them. Yeah. Like, like he's just, cracking our back. Yeah. It's just like very inappropriate. Who's your dream guy, like, when you were in high school? Oh. Jason. When I was in, like, middle school, I loved Ashley <laughs> Parker Angel from O Town. Really? Yeah. I loved Brian from the Backstreet Boys. Oh, yeah. What about you, Jason? Oh, Martha Anderson. Washington. <laughs> <laughs> George's wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, on that note. All right, well, hopefully, we talked about enough gossip for you guys. We are the view. Sorry now. that we bought Prada bags. Yeah, I'm sorry. We'll go return them so you guys don't. You know what I have to say about buying a Prada bag? <laughs> what does that say? I am unapologetic. <laughs> yeah. I was like, don't tear people down, you know? Just yeah. be happy, be excited. Thank you for doing this video with us. Yeah. Even though you're very tired, I totally. Yeah, and go check out my Speedo collection, guys. It's available. Yeah. Cheeks, and thongs. Yeah. Cheeks and thongs. Cheeks and thongs. Cheeks and thongs, they'll be available soon. Coachella. I was gonna be selling at Ultra, but unfortunately it was uh, didn't happen. But Coachella might pick it up. At Coachella, I'll be selling yeah. my speedos and I'll be wearing speedos all all three days. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye. Bye.